Hi, this video is about multiplication of polynomials. So I'm going to discuss here how to multiply polynomials. So in multiplying polynomials, it is done using the distributive property. So if you can still remember distributive property, that is um, a times b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. So meaning we, we distributed a to b, so we multiply a to b and then multiply a to c okay so that is why we have a times b plus a times c let's have this example negative 4 times 3x minus 1 so that is equal to negative 4 times this one the first term that's 3x and then plus we have negative 4 times negative 1. Okay, so take note here, we distributed negative 4 to 3x and to negative 1. And let's simplify. So negative 4 times 3x, that is negative 12x. Okay, so when we multiply, we apply the rules of or the loss of exponent. So um, we are going to multiply negative 4 and 3 and then yung x. Okay, so that's negative 12x. Next, we have negative 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1, so negative, negative, yan, that becomes positive. Okay, so... 4 times 1 is 4, so the answer is positive 4. So, positive plus, so that's plus 4. And so the answer is negative 12x plus 4. Let's check if we got it right. Yes, negative 12x plus 4. So that is by the distributive property. Next, to get the product of 3x squared plus x minus 2 and 4x squared plus 5, we apply the distributive property. How is that? Distribute the first polynomial with every term of the second polynomial. So we have here 3x squared plus x minus 2. This is our first polynomial times 4x squared plus 5. This is our second polynomial. So ang gagawin natin, ang first polynomial natin, i-multiply natin sa 4x squared and then, i-multiply din natin siya sa 5. Okay? With plus sign in the middle. And so, that is, okay, dito na lang, yung 3x, we apply distributive property again. So, 3x squared muna, i-multiply natin sa 4x squared. Pagkatapos si x sa 4x squared, and then negative 2 sa 4x squared. Okay? So, that would be, 3x squared times 4x squared and then cx plus, so plus x times 4x squared minus 2, negative 2, and multiply natin kay 4x squared. Yan. So, eto na yan. Okay? Eto yan, yung first. And then we have plus. This one, 3x squared, eto na naman tayo. So, yung 3x squared, i-multiply natin kay 5, tapos kay x, at saka kay negative 2. So, we have 3x squared times 5, and then plus x times 5, and then negative 2 times 5. Alright? And let's simplify. So, silang dalawa i-multiply natin. Ayan. So, that's 3x squared times 4x squared. 3 times 4, that's 12. And then, x squared times x squared. So, the same base sila, x and x. So, we multiply. So, we add the exponent. So, that is x to the power of 4. Okay? Next, this one. Okay? So, we stop dun sa uh, na-separate sa plus or minus sign, ha? Okay? Kagaya niyan. O, eto sila dahil andito na si plus. Okay, eto naman, at saka eto, okay, separated by plus and minus signs. 
And so we have x times 4x squared. So uh, 4, that's plus 4. And then the same base ang x. So ang exponent ng x dito ay 1. So that's 1 plus 2, that's 3. Okay, so that's 4x cubed. Next, negative, positive. So that's negative, negative yan. And so 2 times 4, that's 8. And then x squared. Huwag kalimutan si x squared. Ayan. Next, we have plus 3x squared times 5. And so 3 times 5, that is 15. So that's plus 15x squared. Ayan. Oops, underline natin yung tapos na natin para hindi, nat hindi tayo mawala mamaya. So tapos na ito. And then we have this x times 5. And so that is 5x. Tandaan mauna si uh, constant kaysa kay variable, ha? Mauna ang numerical coefficient, tapos ang variable. Hindi pwedeng x5. Hindi pwedeng x5. It should be x times 5 is 5x. Okay? Tapos na yan. And then we have negative 2 times 5. So, that's negative 10. So, i-check natin kung may mga like terms pa. Kung may mga like terms pa, we are going to combine them by adding or subtracting them. Okay? And so, we'll have this uh, simplest form mamaya as the final answer. So, ito, yung x to the power of 4, wala na siyang ka-like term. So, that's it. 12x to the power of 4. Yung cube naman, wala na. Ito, may x squared pa tayong like term. So, i-combine natin ito, ha? I-combine natin yan. So, kopyahin natin yung mga wala nang ka-like terms. So, plus 4x cubed. And then, negative 8 squared plus 15x squared. So, negative 8 plus 15. So, unlike sign sila. So, that's like 15 minus 8. Uh, the larger number is positive. So, ang sagot ay positive. So, 15 minus 8, that would be 7. So, the answer is 7x squared. Tapos, walang kalike term sa mga yan. So, kukopihin natin. 5x minus 10. So, this is the answer. So, 12x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus 7x squared plus 5x minus 10. Next, let's multiply binomials. When we say binomials, yung uh, polynomials na may dadalawang terms, kagaya nito. So, this is one polynomial. Meron siyang dalawang terms, x and 4. Ito naman, another binomial, x and then 3. So, dalawang terms. So, we are going to multiply them using the FOIL method. So, when we say FOIL method, um, F stands for the first terms, which is X first term, and then first term. So, X times X, meaning unahin atin sila i-multiply. So, X times X, that is X squared. Okay? Kasi the same base silang X, so we add the exponent. So, 2. And then, yung O stands for outer. When we say outer terms, yung mga nasa labas, ano? So, yung X, this is the outer term, okay? And, yung sa kabilang outer term naman dito is 3. So, we are going to multiply X and 3. So, X times 3 is 3X, okay? 3X, so that's positive 3X. Next, yung I naman, tapos F first, O, outer terms, I stands for inner terms, inner, so yung nasa loob naman. So, in this example, we have 4 and X, okay? So, 4 times X, tandaan, when we multiply constant and variable, so that is like, uh, yung uh, ipagtabi lang yung dalawa, no? Because they don't have the same base kapag ka constant and variable. So, 4 times X is 4X. Okay, so positive 4x. And then, yung L naman stands for last terms. Okay, ang last ng x plus 4 is 4. Okay, ang last naman dito ay 3. So, we have 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is positive 12. So, plus 12. Okay, so this is the product of the FOIL method. Now, we are going to check kung may mga like terms. And we are going to simplify 
So, eto x squared, 3x, 4x, oops, they are like terms, so we need to simplify them. We need to combine them. And then, 12. So, si 12 walang ka-like terms. Okay? So, kopyahin lang yung mga walang ka-like terms. So, x squared. Ito naman, 3x plus 4x. So, 3 plus 4, that's 7. So, the answer is 7x. Okay? Plus 12. Ma'am, hindi ba ano yan? 7x squared. Hindi. Because this is addition. Hindi ito multiplication, ha? Okay? Yung x times x dito, this is multiplication. x times x. Okay, multiplication yan. Right, so wala nang like terms dito. So this is now our answer. So check natin. The answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay.